What? It's my secret recipe. <laughs> what are you doing, Chuck? Making lunch. <laughs> what, what are you making for lunch? Uh, chili. Okay. <laughs> canned chili? Yep, just chili. <laughs> canned chili. You're chili. serving me canned I, chili? You know, for... you know I have the best chili recipe in the world, right? <laughs> but I can't make the best chili in the world in 10 minutes. <laughs> and it's time for lunch. And it's time for lunch. <laughs> so, the, the recipe is rough Caesar calm. You need a can of chili, a can opener, a pan, and a spoon. Not okay. if you talk to Dave. Open the can with the can opener. Pour the can into a saucepan. And stir with a spoon. Over medium heat until it's, uh, you know, the right temperature. And the right temperature is whenever you say it's ready to eat. Now, in, in the case of our friend Dave, that just meant opening the can and sticking in a spoon. Yeah, Dave's idea of provisioning was what, four cases of canned beans? Something like that. And he ate a can of beans cold for every meal the whole trip. He said it was really easy to provision. Of course, he was going solo. True. And he was batching it. <laughs> he was all by himself. That's maybe the key right there. But just cold out of a can breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, and his trip was how many days? I think it, was it was about 30 days. I can't remember exactly it's the usual trip in a, in a boat uh, that size. His boat was a 36-footer, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, probably. Ugh. Yeah. Well, that's... So, lunch almost done? Uh, it'll be a few minutes. Probably two minutes or so. We don't have a microwave, so... <laughs> We're just going to have to heat it up the old-fashioned way, on a flame. So we're going shopping for fresh vegetables later this afternoon? Yeah, after lunch. Never, it's never a good idea to go to the supermarket hungry. <laughs> Ooh. So, yeah, we're going to eat lunch, then we're going to go to the store and uh, see what they've got that looks good in the fresh vegetable department, and we'll make a batch of veggie stew. Maybe they'll have some of those Okinawan sweet potatoes again. Those were good. Oh, yeah, that sounds yeah. good. Yep. So we'll see what they've got, and, and we'll whip up a batch of uh, veggie stew maybe tonight in the pressure cooker. Mm, sounds good. Yeah, great. All right. And cornbread to go with it. Cornbread. <laughs> cornbread. Oh, we'll get some sausage, and you can make your world-famous uh, cornbread pie. World famous? Well, our world. It's <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should try it with bacon. Well, anyway, we're gonna we'll we'll experiment. We'll make two, one with bacon, one with sauce. You just want cornbread, is all. <laughs> we've been eating vegetarian for you're the last so, couple of weeks. That's you're it. You're so easy. You're too easy. I know. Well, we've been we we have been eating pretty much vegan the, the last couple of weeks. It's we have not been eating out of a can, and when we when we have a couple of times, it's been you know black beans and corn salad with some avocado and um, uh, tomato added to it. So uh, this is really the first can of uh, can of anything we've had in a while. Traditional bachelor canned food, of which I would have this boat well stocked if it weren't for Laura. Um, but this is the first time we've opened up one of these in a while. And we do like our canned chili. I'm sorry to say, we like our canned chili. Yeah, but we usually only have that when we're out. Yeah, but we're gonna have um, we're gonna have a nice vegetable stew and uh, cornbread uh, pie with sausage and/or bacon. One, one, one of, I would love to have one of each. I really would. <laughs> we'll see. But what, you know, the, we'll see what we can do. We'll do that. <laughs> All right, lunch is almost done. Bye, Chuck. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. da -da -da. There we go. Da -da -da -da. And as usual, in our galley. Presentation is everything. <laughs>